The FBI's investigation into Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton's email may wrap up soon. As Secretary of State, Clinton used an unsecured private email server in her home for official business. None of the emails on the system was marked classified at the time, but recently thousands have been reevaluated and some marked top secret. It's a crime to mishandle classified documents. Tonight, Nancy Cordes tells us a former Clinton staffer has been given immunity and is talking to the FBI. Brian Pagliano is an IT specialist who set up the private email server at Clinton's New York home. He took the fifth when he was called before Congress last year, but is cooperating with the FBI, an indication of the breadth of the investigation into whether anyone intentionally mishandled classified information. The Clinton campaign said today it is pleased that Pagliano is helping with a case the FBI director, James Comey, acknowledges is uniquely sensitive. Is I am uh, very close personally to that investigation to ensure that it's done the way the FBI tries to do all of its work, independently, competently, and promptly. The State Department released the last of Clinton's 30,000 emails on Monday. More than 2,000 of them contained information now considered classified, she providing fodder for Republicans. Because what she did was a criminal act. She shouldn't be allowed to run, okay? White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest disputed that. What I know that some officials over there have said uh, is that she is not a target of the investigation. In New York last night, former President Bill Clinton argued the email controversy has made his wife more relatable. I saw this remarkable story by a woman who said, you know, I never really was enthusiastic until I read her emails. <laughs> and it made me appreciate how really good she is as a human being as well as a public servant. But the question has always been why a public servant would need to communicate solely via private email. Scott, a source close to the investigation, confirms tonight that Pagliano turned over security logs that show that the private server was never hacked by foreign entities. Nancy, thank you.